In this video, I'm going to target a video to a little bit of my older audience. Um, I'm going to keep it short. I, I understand this is not really a topic that needs much, um, much depth or much exploration. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how day trading is not investing, and it has nothing to do with investing. So I've looked at my channel analytics, and I have about, I have about 20 to 25 percent of my audience that is above the age of 45, so 45 and above. And for many of you, you might be familiar with like 60, 30, 10, you know, stocks, bonds, uh, and then other assets as like your your sort of portfolio, so to speak. So you're used to portfolio management. You might have a retirement plan. You might have a 401k. Um, you might have a Roth IRA. You might be used to investing in stocks, bonds, commodities, gold and silver. And one of the things that I need to sort of get in your head in terms of both the IRS as in the, the Internal Revenue Systems uh, definition of day trading and my definition of day trading, which is about the same, is we are not investing. This has nothing to do with investing. So I don't invest in a short position and I do not invest in a long position. I do not look at the fundamentals of the stock market at all. Uh, I do not look at at price to earnings ratios. I do not look at EBITDA, earnings before, interest, dividends, and tax. Um, I don't look at EBITDA. I don't look at, at sales. I don't look at revenue growth. I'm not looking at individual stocks at all. Uh, I'm trading mathematical based models or visual patterns um, and, and trading intraday volatility, which is the definition that the IRS uses. I'm trading intraday volatility. So I am trading the NASDAQ futures, meaning I'm trading a derivative of tech stocks. So there's 100 tech stocks, NASDAQ, Apple, Amazon, uh, Facebook, or Meta, um, the FANG stocks, right? Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Uh, although I am trading a derivative of tech stocks, it has nothing to do with tech stocks. It has nothing to do with fundamentals, nothing to do with the only fundamentals that I would look at or even consider would be the Fed funds rate or the interest rate. And then, guys, of course, I look at the economic calendar, but I'm not looking at the economic calendar because I care what the retail sales number is. I don't look at the building permits because I care what the building permits is. And I'm not looking at FOMC minutes uh, because I care about those things. I, I really could have I could care less what the actual number that gets printed looks like. Uh, I'm, I'm merely trading intraday volatility using visual patterns, risk to reward ratios, and uh, basically a system, a system of trading first developed by Michael Huddleston, whose online personality is known as Inner Circle Trader. So if you are older, if you are familiar with traditional investing, you're familiar with investing your retirement plans, 401k, Roth IRA, uh, you are familiar with investing in, in, the, in the stock market or in the bond market or in alternative assets like cryptocurrency or whatever and you kind of you come to my channel and you're like oh this guy's a day trader he must know something about investing I know nothing about investing I mean I know very little I don't look I don't believe that the stock market is anywhere near its fundamental value I think that the Nasdaq should be like 10,000 I think that the S&P 500 should be at half of what it is fundamentally I think the United States is in a dire economic condition I think that the United States, we're running into 1970s level of stagflation, where we still have persistently high inflation, uh, but our interest rates are going up, but we still have persistently high inflation, in, 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 especially in consumer staples like food, gasoline, uh, those sorts of things. So I think that, the, that fundamentally, the stock market is beyond overvalued, but I don't, have, I don't care about that at all as a day trader. So I just wanted to get this message out there for my older audience, my audience that is you know, used to investing. You might just be getting into day trading. You, you might not you know, really understand how this works. Guys, I don't look at fundamentals at all whatsoever. The only thing I look at is the economic calendar, but not because I care what the number is. I'm looking for number one, when do I want to avoid day trading? Like when do I, the market is too volatile, it's too illiquid, I don't want to touch it. And when is there going to be an injection of volatility? Like when is the market going to, you know, make a good size move? That's it. I don't care which, what number the print is. I don't care which direction the market goes. Usually on these economic releases, guys, they run it up and then they run it down and they run it down and they run it up. They run it in a two-stage macro anyways, and it goes nowhere. So with that being said, guys, day trading is not investing. Uh, it is 
it is trading intraday volatility. And if you are an older, if you're an older guy, older woman, you, you you're used to having like a 401k Roth IRA. You're used to traditional investing. That is not what this is at all whatsoever. And so I just I just needed to bring that message out there. I understand for a lot of you younger guys, you're like in your 20s. You're you know you're kind of younger. You might not even be familiar with traditional investing, uh, or have a retirement account or whatever. Maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, so you're probably a lot more comfortable with the idea of not really caring what the market is fundamentally. Uh, but for some of you older folks, you might not be familiar or you know super comfortable yet with the idea that this has nothing to do with investing. Okay, guys. So just remember, day trading has nothing to do with investing. The skills that make a good day trader, like you know, getting in and out of the market visual patterns, risk management, they really have very little to do with investing. I, I think some of, some of the things like buying at a discount, selling at a premium have, you know, are, are similar to investing, but it's really not the same. So, all right guys, in this video, uh, I went over why day trading is not investing. And that's for my older audience. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.